everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Tyranny. Last time we left off, we arrived here at the river crossing area, and it turns out the disfavored plan to assault the rebels holding the other side of the river did not quite go according to plan. So we're on to plan B now, and the chorus is going to attempt to send a rope across the river to get their people and the disfavored across, but for them to carry that out, we have to provide a distraction by attacking the eastern bridge to draw away the rebels to somewhere that is not here, basically. And so that is what we're going to be doing now and I will unpause. So, Tiberius and his band of merry misfits, as I'm calling them for the time being. Oh, fuck. First off, Tiberius, I need you to disarm the trap. Because we are actually going to try to not kill ourselves by a traps this time even if we are wounded so pause and Tiberius hit that rebel with a thrust Barak iron tolling Lantry and I forget their names every now and then so you'll have to bear it with me on that you can throw some quills at him well, a verse. Rot spear. Bad. Huh? Corpse. <laughs> Not so I'll tear your skeleton out by your ass. Bleed out, you little shit. Okay, now we can gang up on your ass, and apologies for the lack of conversation there, I was rather focused on the battle as opposed to what is going on. And so we will take their shit. I'm fairly certain that's the bridge we're meant to attack, but I'm a bit of an explorerholic, to use a made-up word that a friend of mine is rather fond of. And I really enjoy exploring these areas to see what there is to find. So before we go there, uh, I want to try and check out this area. And see what there is to find. So I'm just going to have a little look-see around. This place has some members of the Disfavored and a few Scarlet Chorus as well as some dead bodies. But, I'll just have a quick look-see here. There. Though this area, we can't do a whole lot of exploring because the environment is blocking us off to a degree. I'd say that's worth a second glance. But what is this? The soldier has numerous wounds on his body. Cold forms of two elderly villagers uh, lay nearby. Two victims that he ultimately could not shield from harm. Well, that kind of sucks, even if this soldier is probably a rebel. Most of the homes have been abandoned, and most people do not think raising a blue flag, which if I remember right, is some sort of sign of surrender or peace. They don't believe it will matter to Kairos' forces. Which they're probably right about in most regards. The rebels are going to block us with a bridge. Oh, lovely. Mantani Sibyl. You there and you, signaling her warriors to the bridge. A woman in the regalia of a Vendrian guard captain pierces the commotion with her shrill soprano. 
get over here, and they disfavored our back. Guess they forgot a javelin or two. Be a doll, would you? Hurl them back. Wait, not another disfavored. This is a fate binder. She looks you up and down. Odd, I would have expected. Well, just more soldiers. Here to convince us to kneel down and lose your, our heads. Hmm, what would Tiberius say? I mean, we are a supporter of the Overlord, and we do believe... Uh, a, and a loyal servant. But Tiberius does believe in minimizing bloodshed whenever possible, so I think he would try to end this with as little killing as possible. I need to resolve this insurrection, and I would prefer to do so with as little death as possible. I have a hard time believing such words. What is the mantra? Kairos does not wish to rule a wasteland? The disfavored have stopped taking work slaves. Don't pretend we aren't targeted for elimination. Well, I'm not a member of the disfavored. Your friends seem to have misplaced most of their squad. Guess they're somewhere in my river. She shrugs sarcastically. My family's been protecting this river for six generations, so it's easy to lose track of all the looters and vagrants we've had to feed to the eels. Unless you want to try a running leap over, you're stuck. Maybe try heading downstream to Placid Crossing. We have more warriors there, and I'm certain they'd be just as happy to kill you. Let us across, and we will grant you mercy. Hold your oars a second. I have a statement prepared from Captain Ari for just this moment. She reaches into her belt and... With an impish smile, pulls her hand out to reveal nothing but the local gesture for penis. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. Wait, there's a second missive here somewhere. She feigns scouring her pockets once more before displaying her phallic gesture again. As amusing as I find this soon to be corpse, it would appear that our distraction has paid off. He nods off to the west. Satisfied, she turns to leave, calling out to you as she does. I wouldn't keep standing there, Fatebinder. The river's currents are quite unpredictable. It's probably for the best that we depart, in case our Resident Water Mage is planning something, but wow, I'm sure Tiberius' opinion on these people has just gotten lower, if that's at all possible. They're not only uncouth, unwashed barbarians who refuse to even and be civilized, but they also use vulgar gestures and we are a noble, so that offends us in the deepest way possible, and only confirms his belief that the mm, disfavored are in fact the best group for making their decision. It's because they understand that discipline and civility are the way to go. But enough of my philosophical musings. Bitter quick whip wanted a word. Tiberius, we'd better see to him. Well done. While you were toying with the Oathbreakers, my gang had the opportunity to set a rope on the collapsed bridge over yonder. The Furies wait to join you in battle. What is the plan now? Let's try to avoid agitating things between the two groups, if at all possible. The plan now is to lower that bridge. Our warriors can't swim in their armor. The lighter troops, he points squarely at you, and move across the rope, then lower the bridge. They'll meet you on the other side. Crossing by rope, are we? Beric clears his throat and shifts his weight awkwardly. In that case, I might recommend 
that I go last. Yes, that's probably a good idea, Barrack. It wouldn't do to have the rope snap when the bulk of the squad is still on this side of the river, after all. That would certainly screw with our plan. For once, I agree with Antio. Bitter quip points across the water in animated alarm. My ba gang's been spotted. Go now before they are overwhelmed. I will, but first Tiberius needs to level up. I'm going to put one point into our quickness, since the focus we have is on attacking our enemy where they are weak and avoiding them where they're strong. Talent points. What do I give him? Lightfooted. Move faster in combat. I think, because we want to be able to... As, as I said, I'm trying to build Tiberius out. It's kind of a fast, agile warrior of sorts. Right. And being able to move quicker in combat really fits on um, that sort of thing, I think. But now... We... You need to check the controls real quick, because I've forgotten something. I'm going to quick save just in case. Kairos' soldiers have tied a rope to the bridge. Um, the two halves of the river. Uh, I had a rope to bridge the two halves of the river. Let's say this correctly. It looks sturdy enough to cross by hand. 26 athletics. Which makes it easier to cross the river, I imagine. Take hold of the rope and slowly cross the river. And even Barrack managed to make it across. I think something like that is a moment to thank Kairos for our success in getting across without complications. Send me your champion! Hope you fancy red. Now, we have rebels to kill. Tiberius Thrust. First, Blood Soak Stone. Varric, I'm sending you and the Lantry. Yeah, after this one here. <laughs> There. But now, Tiberius. Flurry of blows that archer. Lantry, quill flurry him. First, burning iron. Uh, that one. And we can get an iron tolling on you. Read my signal. Right. Verse is low on health. So it looks like. So Fury's Rage will do for now. Let's do it, you and me. <laughs> Got dark all of a sudden. Now, Lantry attack Tiberius. Flurry of blows. And another iron strike. Striking iron, rather. Will do. <laughs> uh, 
now let's finish off the weaker enemy first. <laughs> Lantry. Heal Tiberius, please. Let's not have our fate binder get knocked unconscious if we can help it. <laughs> Thought I was dead for sure. Go on ahead, Fate Binder. I'm of no more use to you. And we are all now <coughs> feeling much better. But, but I'm going to wait for Versus Health to regen a little bit before we do anything else. Will do. So I would like to avoid and getting nearly killed again whenever possible. And I'm paranoid, so quick save is in order here. Kairos' butchers have come! Flee! Butchers? We aren't butchers. What's wrong with you people? And... There's some more rebels that we're gonna have to kill. Rather a lot of them, too. And I doubt negotiations will work out for us. Retreat! Captain Matani signals for her troops to run to the nearby village. There's too many, they've crossed the river. Pull back! Avendrian guard soldiers rush forward and adopt a close formation, covering Captain Matani as she retreats to the nearby settlement. And Athletics 34. This is what I'm going to go with. Because as far as Tiberius is concerned, they are rebels and have betrayed the Overlord and spat in the face of his generosity. So if we have to play with their emotions to defeat them, so be it. Raise your hand if you'll leave behind orphans. One of the soldiers panics at the proposition and breaks formation to flee. We'll take any advantage we can get, as I said. And knocking down their number from four to three is a very distinct advantage that I think we want to have. Flurry of blows. Blood-soaked stone. Striking iron. Quill strike. What's happening? <laughs> bad at making friends. What would lead you to such a ridiculous assumption, Lantry? Now, heal verse, please. <laughs> Now, verse, burning iron against that archer. Lantry, quill flurry the archer. <laughs> we'll get a thrust on him. And Beric, you can just attack. I always have this much blood. <laughs> Well, that's verse unconscious, unfortunately. Pay attention, kids. You might learn something. Flurry right. of blows. <sighs> that group's been defeated. But verse is in pretty rough shape, I imagine. Now, we need to let down the bridge. Good. Excellent work. We'll hold the bridge against any we'll reinforcements. Do. Probably a good idea. We're going to need our momentum. He's right. Water damage. Okay.
And I know I'm quick saving a lot, but I want to prevent unnecessary deaths forcing me to redo a lot of stuff. So into the village now. You're here! Run! Go now! Send me Rebels. Still sticking around here. Don't you realize that the sooner you bend the knee to Kairos, the sooner you can go back to something resembling a normal life? One would think you had the brains to realize this. I suspect we may have been overestimating your capabilities. Won't go. <laughs> Tiberius and Birth. Right. Go. <laughs> Heal Tiberius, please. Good work. You yeah. one of those. Await my signal. And down goes the rebel. Now, since there's just one generic enemy left, I'm going to swarm at him with everyone. Now loot the bodies. And of course explore the area nearby. Because we have to get a good idea of what we're going to be dealing with in terms of the area. And that's right, run. Perhaps if you hadn't rebelled, you wouldn't have to deal with this shit. See, people, this is what happens when you revolt against the Overlord. Take this Your as day. a life's lesson and don't do it again, would be my advice. Iron tolling there. First, you send to some burning iron after them. Lantry. Also him. Ready? Yeah, I'm injured. Take it. Oh, got dark all of a sudden. Oh, great. Verse went down quite quickly. And Tiberius is also down. We're going to have to bring these guys down with our limited group. This is unfortunate, but hardly completely unexpected. I'll take Go care on, Lantry. That's how it's done. I'll take care of it. Yeah. has been neutralized. Kairos, the soldiers are here! Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Uh, who are these now? Matani Sibyl's shrill voice pierces the air. A 
clarion call address not to you, but to the citizens of the village. Do not fear, sons and daughters of Apex. Kairos' hounds are at our doorstep. The Vendrian Guard will not abandon you. Brave warriors of the Vendrian Guard, these foreigners and sellouts mean to burn our homes and butcher our families. Summon what strength you have and show Kairos the price of taking our land. Several soldiers step out from half-closed doorways and dimly lit alleyways, fury blazing in their eyes. The partisans shout battle cries to marshal their courage, and you see the gray gleam of iron as they brandish their weapons and charge. How in the name of Ash did these hill folk get their hands on iron weapons? Varric regards the locals with momentary panic and bewilderness before settling his stance for battle. Fools. If you beat us, then you'll die to Kairos' edict. Apparently you're not smart enough to realize that you'd be better off just doing what we want and not dying. Come on now. Lantry Flurry. Tiberius is unconscious. Forget that, you can just attack like normal. Someone stitch me up. Lovely. Bleed out, you little shit. Got dark Eric. That one rattled me hard. Eric, come on. Graven Ash protects. I'm trying to find somewhere we can rest if possible, but I don't think it is possible.
let's see. 